My boys! What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. We're doing something different. We have the tales. I'm not gonna go crazy with the intros. I'm doing a lot of stuff, so I just wanna say if you are new to the channel and this is your first time running for the big destroyer, make sure to leave a big fat like on the video if you enjoy it and drop a sub for more filming. Now, today, like I said, we're gonna be doing a tales. This tales is the ultimate Dragon Ball Saga tales. Like I said, I'm trying to switch up the content. So I want to say a real quick shout out to my boy Sheldon slash Reigns in the freaking party today. We're going to be discussing through the side of the my boy right now. <laughs> What's the yeah, what's now? going on, y'all? Nah, don't worry about it, bro. <laughs> nah, don't worry about it. What's going on, y'all? Yes, sir. Shout out to my boy Reigns, man. It's time! Ah! The first saga that we're starting off with is the, what is this? Mind y'all, I'm still having a mask on, so it's kind of hard to see. The future trunk saga. Hmm. All right, so now if you guys are seeing the screen, uh, we're gonna be going through the highest is Z, the lowest is F, of course, and then you have S, A, B, C, and D. Now let's let's talk about the future trunk saga, Reigns. What, what you got to say? About it? Future trunk saga. Honestly, the future trunk saga at first was pretty interesting for me personally, cause I ain't gonna lie, when trunk shit up. That was pretty cold, Goku in Black, my Black, opinion. Goku like. Black, uh, oh, oh, you're, oh, you're, oh, you're talking about Oh, my bad. Oh, you're talking about Oh, oh, oh. Dragon Ball Super Future Saga. Alright, Dragon Ball Super uh, Future Chunk Saga. That one's pretty cold, too. I'm not gonna lie. Mm, Trunks in this arc was kind of like. I don't know. I ain't following him that much. But Goku Black was cold. Goku Black was cold. Nah, Goku Black was cold, right? I ain't gonna lie. What's his name? Zamasu. He was alright, too. And, uh, you know, I like the little premise they had going on there. But to be honest, me personally, I rate that like. I rate that like an S tier. Probably low S tier, to be honest. Okay, low well, S tier. I'm low key agreeing, but dude, let me see. How do I feel about the future trunks are? I really like Goku Black. If I'm going off of just like. What to me and Super had the best writing, which arc I'd probably say the future trunks arc. I did like Zomasu, kind of did like how he approached Zomasu and Goku Black. But I don't know if it's enough to say Z tier, because I feel like there's a lot of aspects I could have done. So I'm, I'm gonna agree with my boy, man. We don't, we don't say S for the first one, yeah. So now next. It's because. Yeah. Oh, my bad. But I'm, I'm just saying, say like, in saying. the perspective of like. I was like, I'm like super in perspective for Super because all the other arcs, like, I'm just saying like in Super's perspective or in general, I say it's S2 because it's not like too high, Thanks. right? Because the arc, like to be honest, at the end of the arc, they could have really like done more with it because the way how really Trunks went at the end, I didn't like that. It was kind of a whole move to be honest, but I mean, <laughs> they had to figure it out somewhere. Yeah, and then the whole thing with Zeno blowing up and then Zeno come back to Japan. It's kind of a weird mm -hmm. ending. I think they really did just to introduce Zeno's freaking erasure. But yeah. Fine. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, I guess we agree to Same. S tier for the Trunk Saga. Now let's go to the Android Saga. So now this is in Z, when the Androids first show up. Mm. So that's straight after uh, when Trunks beat up freaking uh, Freezer. Uh, wait, the Android Saga and Cell Saga are two different things, right? Yeah, so Android Saga different. is basically when 17 uh, and 18 were there and uh, when Dr. Jerome put up. So like the- Oh, okay. Then uh. So me. Alright, this one was called because this one. Oh, go on, my bad. It's your no, channel. Brother, All right, no, speak. No, brother, no, don't do speak that. your don't truth. It's okay. You say your thing. I was, I was just saying for me. I'm thinking while you talk. So say what you're saying. Mm. Okay, yeah, for me. I feel like uh, this Android saga was cold too, because when Chunks first appeared, his design was cold, right? Mm -hmm. The way he went Super Saiyan, because we because we had this notion that Goku was the only Super Saiyan when he pulled up and started doing his thing, you know what I'm saying? Killed Freezer, yeah. I was doing all that, yo. That shit had me geek, and I ain't gonna lie. I think it's cold. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. That yeah. I just like what I liked about the Android saga. I just like the vibe of it, like especially if I think back to like when I was mm. younger and I was watching Z, just like the introduction of Androids. I think it was valid. It was kind of weird with Doctor Jerome because I didn't fully understand Doctor Jerome. I haven't watched Dragon Ball in mad long, but I think, I think it was cool. It had a lot of a lot of valid moments when seventeen and eighteen first showed up too. And when uh, I think I think the coolest one of the coolest parts about this arc is just seeing how arrogant Vegeta was. I, I don't know if I call that cool, but it was just funny. Like, I think Vegeta was probably one of the most interesting mm. people. Oh, well, I just forgot. Y'all yeah, remember that freaking moment when uh, freaking Vegeta blew up? What, what Android was that? Android 19? I think it was mm. probably. Yeah, 19. Oh, he said, Let me ask you, does a machine like yourself ever experience fear? That was valid. If I had to the, choose. The Android saga, mm -hmm. yeah, look. But uh, I, I would say it's like. 
Mm. I'd say it's also an S tier. Nah, I was going to say too, yeah, to I, I can't put it lower than the Future Trunks are because it, it had a lot of moments. So I'd say S as well. I fully agree. Alright, next. Mm. Bogarty. So is this, is this a, I can't see what this word says. Is this the, what does it say? Does it say World Tournament? No, this is, this is when Bogarty first is. So I'm guessing this is the Majin Buu Saga. Ooh, mm. Majin Buu Saga. Mm. Alright, off the back, if I had to just pick a tier for the Majin Buu Saga. Mm. And I don't think this mm -hmm. counts the tournament when it first happened. A? Uh, maybe I, I know it's the Bobby. So I, when it says the Bobby saga, like Mario, so I think that's when they went when Vegeta, Gohan, and thing went to uh, go to Bobby's lab or whatever. Actually, that had some valid moments, like when freaking mm -hmm. Vegeta beat up that alien, and they they went to like that other freaking planet or whatever. They put them on like what, what, like Wait, planet? so for this arc is it like so is it like the blue arc basically or is it just like vegeta's mod it looks like i'm guessing from when bobby was first introduced like you remember after uh dude uh i forgot his name beat up the yeah. and they yeah. pulled up to bobby like when they yeah, went yeah. to go see what happened with yeah. his eyes that saga that part when like go oh, out okay. and the war and all that like that area like, <sighs> like this was a little bit before Majin was put up i don't know if it's saying the full mind yeah it's not the full mind saga because i see that one so it was just bobby Oh, right. so that phase of Bobby, like I think it, that ended and, around when Vegeta just went Majin. So like that whole phase of them basically inside that room fighting. That's basically what it is. Okay, in that case, mm -hmm. I feel like this one. I mean, to be honest, this arc wasn't that long. Number one and two, and number two, it's like it was more like a segue into the Boo Saga. So to be honest, I can't say it was like you know outstanding it's at all. Outstanding, but it has you know, so else. honest because the thing is. It, it do so i'm not gonna say it's like a bad tier to be honest i read it pretty average either be your a tier nine too crazy but nine too low nine too high you know Personally, probably be your a tier but uh so this, like i'm surprised this guy made it like down as an arc but i give it like a i mean i guess the concept of like the homage i think was cool i give it a b i give it a b i don't think it was bad or anything i just i don't think it goes anywhere higher do you agree yeah, yeah yeah, I agree, I agree, I agree. Copy, all right, next, the baby sub. Okay, we're going into GT, mid-GT. <laughs> F. <laughs> Are you too desert? F. F for real, you trolling? F. You think the baby sub was F. trash? F, no, I ain't trolling, no. F, right, that shit was I, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> that shit was ass. <laughs> all right, let me think about this. What do I think the baby sub All right, it was kind of weird how they introduced him. Like, he's like a weird thing figure in the absorbing. Ah. I, I guess the, the coolest only part, good was part of this park was Super Saiyan That's 4, saying, bro. So if we had to balance it, I That's believe it. it was kind of low key mid as well. I'm going to say D. So since you said F, and as you said, since you said F, and I won't get with F, just because Super Saiyan 4 was here, I think we could, we could go in the middle. So you think D is valid? Is D coming for that D? Or should we put that I guess. Uh, I, I mean, no, I guess D. D. You sure? You sure? Yeah, let me know now. Uh, I mean, Super Saiyan 4 is the only That's redeeming the only part, so I won't make it F immediately. God, yeah, so I say D, I guess. God, D, D, D. Right, this one, I have no idea what this arc is. But man, right, that's the start of GC. That was Goku garbage, bro. What, what, what arc is this? I can't tell. F, 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 <laughs> F, 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 F. I don't care, bro. That one was worse. Was that worse, one was worse right. than Baby. Do it. So <laughs> don't do it. Oh, no. All right, next is the Ginyu Force. Mm. I ain't going to lie. Let me say my opinion on the Ginyu Force. You know, when the first, the Ginyu Force first introduced I go off Raccoon was sus as hell like just the pose and the stuff he was doing was kind of throwing mm. but I really liked how they mm. did the Ginyu Force because it was unique you know I just like they all the thing I like about Ginyu Force they're all different and unique in their own way like mm. it wasn't one of your typical like villain groups for me like they all have their own thing you know for me and that boy that boy Ginyu was that, that boy Ginyu was slick for me so for me personally I would probably put the Ginyu Force like Saga arc like uh, I'm gonna say Z. Z has to stand out. To be so honest, I'll probably say an A. Probably, probably an A. Yeah. To, to be honest, for the Ginyu Force, to, it 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 was better than the Bobby one. Obviously, mm -hmm. Goku was actually putting in that work oh, and seeing man. the other characters have some part in it. You know, fighting all those different mm -hmm. Frieza soldiers and everything that 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 was cold. Seeing Vegeta actually do something other than you know. Fight the main protagonist. Oh, yeah. I was also cool because he was actually doing <laughs> his part too. You know, Goku, and I, uh, not to interrupt you. Uh, well, Goku didn't want to kill them, but he just blew off both. I think Burner and uh, Raccoon's head. 
<laughs> yes. Nah, not at all. So, but I won't say it's S or so Z like tier. Because again, this one's more like a segue. Yeah, this one's more like a segue into the Freezer Saga, too. So I can't say like it's outstanding, but it's good, though. So I read it A. Copy. I put it at A, bro. A, copy. And A is good. A's Next good. one. Oh, this might be an auto Z tier. Is it Gohan versus Cell? That's all I'm going to say. What, what are we doing? Do we, is this even a discussion? Is this a discussion? You said what? Go on versus You said go on versus Super Cell? Versus oh, yeah, it's easy. 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 Yeah, that's easy. Come on, that. Too much, bro. Money. Instantly. Instantly, bro. Right, but now, Dragon Ball. We don't, we have to I ain't gonna lie. Game. I rewatched that thing multiple Me times. Too, mm -mm. That I'm thing was go perfect, boy. Come on, mm. come on. All right, next we got from Dragon Ball. So this is OG. Do I remember this? Mm. This is with General Tao. Now, I haven't watched Dragon Ball in a long time, y'all, so I don't remember what really happened in this arc, but. Maybe I'll just... tell. It's not the guy in the pink robe, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I have no idea. I do not remember what happened in Arthur. I haven't watched Dragon Ball in a minute. So mm. maybe let's put it at like a, a C mm. just for mm. now. Just to put it just to, just a safe area. Uh oh. You ain't gonna like the next one. <laughs> Freaking you remember the uh the little mm -hmm. fellow walking super against the purple Vegeta? <laughs> oh yeah, that thing that's a Z tier <laughs> instantly, bro. <laughs> Imagine? Wait, actually, let me think about this. Yeah. This was so filler, it's not even funny. No, are we no, gonna no, troll yeah. and put this at Z, or are we gonna... No, it was... No, I ain't, no, I ain't trolling, because the thing about this arc is, <laughs> I like the characterization they did for uh, Vegeta, because, mm. like, the thing about it is they basically put him, put him into the situation where he was basically a bystander watching everybody else do something, right. and it was it, it was a nice arc to showcase, like, the, 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 the power and, like, characterization of just other characters, because I'm pretty sure I remember Goten and Trunks also having, like, a little part in it, right? Mm -hmm. And, um... And Goku too, you know, so it was good to see how Vegeta, how Vegeta felt about himself because it was more like an insight on Vegeta. Word. He, this was his arc. He was a bystander. He was watching everything, giving his input on like how he would fare against the other characters, especially Goku, who he considers to be his rival. Word. So, you know what that means yeah, with this the hell into F. <laughs> you thought I was going to put that into Z. <laughs> You're crazy. Uh, next. <laughs> We got freaking uh, Alright, bro, y'all don't know. Nah, nah, that, that arc was see look, this is the thing, right? It wasn't that terrible. I get the concept of just like purple Vegeta is insane. Like how bad can Fuller get? Like come on. Okay, let's be honest. Next right, we have a right, we have non canon. You know, some people gotta just we just gotta accept the reality, mm -hmm. okay? Now mm -hmm. next we got mm -hmm. garlic no no no, this is oh this from Dragon Ball, not garlic Jr. This is Pilaf. I don't even remember okay. what was Pilaf. Pilaf. That was Pilaf for mine or them when he was like the Emperor thing. I mean, no Dragon Ball arc was necessarily mm, bad, mm. but I'll probably just quickly put this at C with the other Dragon Ball arc, just because I don't fully remember. Is that okay, or do you remember anything? Yeah. Yeah, no, nah, I, I feel that. I don't remember it that much either, to be honest. Uh, you see, the OG Dragon Ball, the, the ones that really stood out to me in the OG Dragon Ball were like, you know, King Piccolo uh, versus oh, Shing. Oh, uh, King, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Piccolo, the Maximum Tournament, and not mm -hmm. was not no, just you know all those tournaments and all that. Those what stood out to me. Everything so, else, you know, so like, eh. they were pretty significant because okay. Goku doing his little like divine water stuff in original Dragon Ball. I remember oh, that yeah. too. Oh, that yeah. one was pretty uh, caught my attention. Right, amazingly, one amazingly done. So yeah, there are a lot of memorable parts in OG Dragon Ball, but yeah. I feel like. You know, since it's been a while, a lot of people remember, but I'm sorry. You go on. Word, word. So, yeah, I agree. So, now that's C. Next, we have Fortune. There's just a picture of Fortune Teller. I cannot see the text simply because I got my mask on. It's a picture of Fortune Teller Baba. Did they introduce Fortune Teller Baba in, in Dragon Ball OG? Or was she introducing Z? Because I just see it shows Ooh. Fortune Teller Baba. Oh. It just shows a picture of Fortune Teller Baba. I don't yeah, know what I remember. It. What is that from? Let me look so I can. Uh, it says Fortune Teller Baba Saga. That's probably from Dragon Ball. So I'm just gonna put a lot of the Dragon Ball ones that I don't fully remember at C. Okay. Now we have we have a crazy one next. Oh wait. Unless do you want to say something about that? Wait, wasn't a Fortune? Wasn't Fortune Teller Baba in like the com, like the Red Commander Saga for OG Dragon Ball? She was right. I, I don't fully remember. It's truly how old yeah. I watch. I don't really watch no older one anything. But next we got come on. This is another. This might be another easy Z tier, y'all. Frieza versus Goku, Super Saiyan, the, the introduction of the legendary Super Saiyan, bro. Like, is there anything lower than Z? Yeah. Like yeah, honest, that, like, yeah, put it, put it as Z, bro. Uh, yeah, guys, that's a but I mean, to be yeah, honest, on. though, that arc, that arc could have, that arc could have done many things better. So mm. for that reason, I probably you know. put out C tier, to be honest. 
Boy, if you don't... Because to be honest, why, why are you See, saying five insane. minutes? Are you going to let us sit there for five episodes, bro? <laughs> no, I'm being dead ass. Like, I mean, Super yeah, Saiyan yeah, was yeah, cool yeah. and all that, but to be honest, like, you know, I so I, I'd say it's probably ball, bro. It's <laughs> Yeah. Now, I would, I would do mm -hmm. that, but at the same time, I, I'm not trying to get backlash and crazy. You know, it's my opinion, but I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Anybody that's putting that book under Z-Tech mm -hmm. is insane. I ain't gonna lie. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. Okay, right, next, bro. we have the scenes like right. Goten that's and cool. Trunks learn fusion. Fusion first time, so go tanks. So I think that's arc more like when they fought Goo. Fusion. When they fought Super Goo. Yeah. So just yeah, Goten and Trunks when it was the focus. Yeah. Was Goten and Trunks versus Super Goo. I'm going to say, because it okay. was interesting moments, I took it at like a B. Not that it was bad, but like, I mean, I guess Super Saiyan 3 Goten was cool, but it just felt more like child's play, literally, and they're children, so I guess that makes sense for like, I don't feel like, I don't feel like Gotenks and them really did anything significant, or like, it's not that the arc was bad, but like, nothing really stand out, like, it was cool to see Gotenks and stuff create that hole inside the high power time chamber to get out of there, that little weird feet. You had uh that that's the thing yeah with the ghost attack so what was that so, yeah, I think uh, Toriyama, I think he even said that he was mostly doing that as a joke, like Goten and Trunks thing, like them getting Super Saiyan 3 mm -hmm. and all that was a joke. And so he wasn't serious, so but it was more like troll. a, so you know, a joke. Troll this arc right yeah. Do you agree? <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Right, I agree. Jr., that's a movie. Damn. Uh, I, guys, this is the issue with this me doing this tales as well. I forgot a lot because I haven't gone back and watched. I've watched all these movies and arcs. I just don't remember everything. Only the most significant things I, I remember mainly. Like, I mean, I watched Dragon Ball, I remember a lot of stuff for like certain arcs. <laughs> it came out one time, but I don't remember. So, <laughs> Garlic Jr. <laughs> I would probably put that <laughs> in like uh, just off of who Garlic Jr. was as a villain. He was he, he wasn't that cold in it. Like, he was he isn't like a memorable, memorable non-canon villain like a Z Broly, or like maybe even a I mean Bojack. Maybe. Kind of I don't know. I'd probably the crazy thing about uh Garlic Jr. Oh no, my no, bad. Talk, see, talk. See. You, you see, the crazy thing about Garlic Jr. is that like if you ask anybody to name any saga in Dragon Ball, they they would forget you Garlic said, Jr. even so existed, cool. right? Probably it's not memorable at all. If yeah, I put it at D because my I ain't gonna lie, I don't think half the people even know who that yeah, is. He's not even in any <laughs> of the games either, so I mean he he's that irrelevant, so yeah, all right, next we have mm. General Blue. That's another Dragon Ball saga that I don't fully remember. The General Blue is that the one where Arrel was there? I don't freaking remember. General Blue. I know who General Blue is. I just don't remember what happened in the arc. It was, I think it's a part of Red Ribbon Army. Since it was Red Ribbon Army, I just I might just flop this at like a, a B. Is that okay? Yeah. Because I don't fully remember. Yeah, I'll put that C, bro. I'll put that C. Put that C. Yeah, I'd put that whole as C. I see. So we Look, got most I, I remember right this guy like that, bro. <laughs> Me neither, bro. <laughs> All right, next, next, next. We got a, we got an interesting one next. We got Goku versus Beerus. So this is at the start of Super, first arc of Super. Now, there's a couple ways we could view this. You could view Goku it from versus the manga who? versus Beerus. God, Goku versus Beerus. So we can view this from the manga oh, standpoint, oh, the oh. anime, because or the movie, because the anime did it terribly. Okay. <laughs> The movie was pretty bad, mm -hmm. and the manga and I guess the movie are I don't know because uh, I think the, the the let's be generous and go with the movie to be honest. Movie. Let's be okay. generous and go with the movie because I mean yeah. So going off the movie, I did like it. I kind of yeah. like how they did it. I'd say uh, A probably comfortably at A maybe. Mm. What you thinking? I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. That's that yo, when I was in that movie, I was when I was in that movie theater. That whole had me no, geeking too, bro. Go. Like when he went Susan and God, they played that mm. fire ass music, bro. <laughs> and they were fighting like the camera angles were wild, bro. Were. And I think that was the first time Dragon Ball actually did something where they did like those dynamic camera angles and yeah. shit. So it added more of a, uh, it made me more, um, what's the word? I was more invested, or you know, what's the word? You're more in tune with it, like knowing you're very into something. Yeah, yeah the immersion. There we go. Have me more immersed mm. in it. That's I'm a lot, I guess. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I, I never that. hated a super movie. Maybe besides Heroes, which we could not Heroes, Dragon Ball Super. I don't hate that movie. We're not gonna talk about that. That's what that's discuss for another day. But mm -hmm. uh, maybe <laughs> since you said higher, so maybe S. Is is that okay then? If not A S, no for S. Oh yeah, I say I say S to be honest. Copy. Yeah, I agree. All right, now Golden Freezer. Okay, now this is. This, uh, how do I think about the arcs? Let me think about the moves of the arc. One, 
the way Frieza pulled up on Earth, if you talking about the movie, was cold as hell, okay? Like, he just, like, you, you got that vibe, like, Frieza's back, for me. He had all the Z Fighters shook, for me. I did like that movie, too, because you, you yeah. see Tien boxing, you had Krillin boxing, Master Roshi, Piccolo. And I like how Frieza was that arc. It was, it was creative. So, me personally, that's probably a solid S as well. I guess hesitant with Z sometimes with Sir Arch just because it has to stand out that much. But now nah, that you had the introduction of Super Saiyan Blue as well, probably S for me. What, what you think? I, I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna lie, I wouldn't put it at S, cause one, mm. right, uh, the thing they, uh, cause look, right, oh, Golden Vegeta. Frieza was cold and all oh, that, but the, yes, I, uh, they, oh, no, no, they hold for the, for the oh, <laughs> damn, what his <laughs> name, uh, damn, Vegeta, right, <laughs> there we go, they hold him, number one, number two, I mean, it was cold, but it just, it, number one, like, to be honest, I don't think the budget was at, well, no, I actually, when I remember, it was pretty good, I ain't going, like, the movie, though, not the, uh, show, if we're going from the movie standpoint. So we're going from the movie standpoint, I mean, yeah, it was pretty good and everything, but they yeah, kind of hold it, you know, I can't expect that shit, to be honest. That is not going to be an S. Do you want to agree with, like, a, <laughs> let's say, uh, <laughs> that, I'm, I, guys, I'm a Vegeta, I'm a, I'm a hardcore Vegeta fan, man, I can't be holding them. Yeah, you want to say, like, a B? Yeah, uh, like I give it, like, an A, B. I mean, the A is here only because the fights are kind of uh, gas, so a, but other than that, like... Wait, so, one second, make sure I'm still recording. <laughs> oh, yeah, next arc. So, now this one's another interesting one. <laughs> this is when Cell first was introduced. So, when first one Cell put up, started absorbing mad <laughs> people. For me, low-key, a S or Z tier, only because I like the creepy vibe to it. Like, nobody really knew what Cell was. And then I thought it was creepy, too, when they mm -hmm. showed, like, the spaceship. It's like, wait, who flew this whole spaceship here? When Trunks found it. So I, I didn't <laughs> like it. It was such a different vibe from what I'm used to in Dragon Ball. So for me personally, Z or S. Somewhere okay. between that. Wait, you let me know. Yeah, uh, this one was... Uh... <laughs> What I really liked about it, again, because this this is the place where Piccolo started getting his little Tommy boost and everything. Was it like, you know, I ain't going like, because Piccolo is kind of a character that I like too. So, like, so I feel like, you know, that could, you know, I wouldn't put it as Z, because the thing, it was a gas, like, thing, but I feel like to be Z, not only do you have to have, like, a very, very memorable thing, you have to stand out, you have to have something very, very memorable, but you also have to actually have, like, you know, I mean, it, this one had good story time, but I feel like it just doesn't hit as hard than the actual perfect cell art. You know what I'm saying? Like the perfect cell tournament. That that one that one went hard, I ain't gonna lie. Anytime I think of cell, think of that moment. You know, when you think of cell, you think of, you know, him versus Goku or Gohan, you know. Yeah, yeah, and so I feel like this one will go S tier, to be honest. S tier. So, S. I fully agree with you, brother. Let's put that, let's, let's pop that right at us. Now, great saying, man. Oh, hell no. Okay. See, the arc was in the right? <laughs> It wasn't horrendous. It was kind of cool sometimes. But I don't want to be like just jump on the back. But like, Grayson is so corny. I guess it was just a different inter. I think I think they really showed Grayson to show how far Gohan fell from uh, freaking being a fighter. And the thing is, I used to have an issue with this, but now I understand it. Like if you guys just go back to how Dragon Ball was, right? Gohan never really liked fighting. He was always forced to. Or kind of like around so much people that did fight mm -hmm. that he went to but like even people saying chi chi's a bad mom she really just told her son to follow his dream and go on generally wanted mm -hmm. to be a scholar so even seeing him fall mm -hmm. off and be this whole corny great saying anything to still save people while being rusty as hell maybe i'm only thinking this <laughs> i'm not saying there's no ssc today i'm just saying just to say like it's a perspective so like, i'm not gonna just call it a horrendous art because i guess it's cool to see go on mm -hmm. kind of but you know what I find funny about this whole Gohan son of fighter thing? Yeah. Every time he is in a position of power, this man is smirking, cocky, and he is enjoying oh, no. it. You cannot wait, tell wait, me wait. a man who doesn't like when he was fighting Boo, <laughs> that man was ooh. When I tell oh, you he was cocky as hell, bro. He was smirking but on I that think man. That's just like part of how he was... grew up with fighting, but I don't know if he necessarily loves it, loves it, feel me. And I think that was just his arrogance. He gets arrogant when he's when he's like really thing. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, man, but you know that one great side, man. Like that's like a C tier, bro. Oh, C -tier, man, yeah. nobody, yeah. nobody do all that, bro. Nobody like, to, yeah, come on now. That right at C. Yeah. Now, all right, Super <laughs> Saiyan three Goku versus Boo. Okay, so is this like the is this the spare bomb? Let me see if the other like, two song might not perfect. Is this the spare bomb? So when they just spare bomb anything, or is just this just the part of the trying to see everything and make sure oh, i think this is including when they did the spirit bomb as well so this is kid boar kid boar. Uh, so spirit bomb uh, uh, the end uh, of z the end of z the end of no not the end of z mm. the end of the modern move saga 
for me personally, had some valid moments, I ain't gonna lie. Freaking Mott Pitbull emoting on Vegeta, that was wild disrespectful, but it's cool. Uh, cool to see, I guess, Kid Buu and Goku go back and forth. That boy Kid Buu is the, the most Black Force person on the planet. That man went to the dead and still killed him. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that moment was really canon, but that, this mm -hmm. was like, was crazy. Even I liked about Kid Buu, which a lot of villains don't do, is as soon as he spawned, he blew up the Earth. Like, he didn't waste no time, okay? That's, oh, that's yeah. crazy, okay? Mm -hmm. So for me, mm -hmm. I think the Saga stands at a solid S tier for me, but I kind of know what you, you think for me. So we can really know I think honestly, the Boo Saga was the only one that actually like the thing about Dragon Ball for a while. It stopped feeling like it had stakes because of the Dragon Balls. With Boo, when he appeared and the first thing he did was blow up the Earth, he still ha he, you finally got that little like you know mm -hmm. oh if they don't beat this guy something bad will happen wow. right. So like it gives you that little sense of stakes back, bro. And that's what I liked about Kid Boo. So me personally, and not to mention Super Saiyan three is five, but I don't think this is the one where Goku first went there. But I mean even then I put this like probably high s tier bro high s tier Come yeah on, you're gonna say s tier i fully agree with everything you said that is so true man this like this kid move doing that alone was crazy all right now we got a dragon arc that i remember okay so now we have when goku fought king piccolo and he did that freaking dragon fist type thing through the homie chest mm. and that's when piccolo mm -hmm. Jr. got born for dragon Ball sake i might have to pop that straight out of s or z even only because i feel like that arc really established that Goku was more than just a kid born on Earth, especially like, of course, I, I watch, the weird thing is I watch Dragon Ball after I watch Z. But like, going from the perspective of Dragon Ball came first and say I didn't watch Z, I feel like as somebody watching it, then not knowing about Super Saiyan and all that, it kind of gave me that vibe that Goku was definitely not a human. <laughs> off of what he was able to do that arc, you know? Just off of being able to beat King Piccolo like he did, you know? So, I don't know. Wasn't this, a, wasn't this the thing? Yeah, wasn't this the part where uh, Goku drank the miracle water and all that stuff was to that get ready to fight King Piccolo and everything? That might have been yeah, I think so. Yeah. And not, yeah, this arc was, I remember this arc to be honest, but it's been a while though, but I still remember just, you know, Goku blowing a hole through Bro's chest and everything with the dragon fist doing all that. And it was the first time, yeah, you actually said we got to see into his, you know, non human side because he's not human at all. He's just saying. So I feel like, you know, they're really good. I put that like a Z2, to be honest. That's the like most memorable part about no, Dragon Ball. Dragon you know, the first Star. Dragon Ball. Yes, sir. So Z. Yeah. Now, when Fat Boo pulled off the fur off the jump, okay? So that's like after the Bobby yeah. arc. So Majin Vegeta, basically this is the arc where Majin Vegeta exploded himself. So yeah. Fat Boo, Fat Boo. So Fat Boo arc, we had a few things. One, we had that iconic, can't forget, Vegeta versus Goku fight. That was one of the best fights in Dragon Ball, just off of the, the context behind it. Vegeta had an idol lot. Damn, I just thought that. Vegeta had a lot of emotion in that arc. He won the fight, Goku. He had all the grudge against just failing second place, okay? He didn't know if he was good or evil. Now, this is why Vegeta's my favorite character. I can say I'm glazing, but like, Bro, like, there's so much development behind it for a Dragon Ball character, especially if you see how retarded yeah. he is now in Super, okay? So for me... I ain't gonna lie, your favorite character being old. I don't know if <laughs> does, but character-wise, for me, I'd give this a solid S or even Z just because of how much this art meant for Vegeta. Sacrificing himself at the end for Goku, the same person that he despised because of his jealousy or whatever. Uh, trying to contemplate if you want to be good or bad because I know some of these animes just be jumping straight from the villain being just a freaking villain to goody good like kind of the RDC video went like how like they get weaker so Vegeta still mm -hmm. struggled mentally to really fathom who he was based on the traumas he went through in the past with like Frieza and just growing up as a bloodlusted saint so all for that nah. I'm gonna say mm -hmm. S maybe even Z I'm gonna say S only because I guess it wasn't focused on Vegeta but Ah oh, damn it, that's RZ for me. You, you you could decide this one. I guess the issue with this is because this tier list is breaking them into a smaller portion than I thought it would because I thought they just do Boo Arc as a whole, right? right? But yeah, if they're doing Boo like Boo Arc as a whole, I put Z because the whole arc mm -hmm. is starts from Vegeta having you know what you said his conflictions mm -hmm. about you know himself, and then later on at the end of the Boo Arc he finally gets you know clarity. Right with Goku right. and everything, they finally were able to clear out, clear up the air up, up between them and stuff. And that's why in Super you don't see any bad blood between them. And that's what I loved about the Boo arc, bro. I, I love that whole like, oh, man. I, I give this one like the fat Majin Boo one. I, I give this one like a. 
Z. 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 I, I say Z. I say Z. Z. Uh, yeah, we popped that This one. Z. I had yeah. to look close to the screen for a second to see the next one after that. I fully agree with you. This is showing like a bunch of the Ginyu Force numbers again. So maybe I confuse that. So maybe this is the Ginyu Force one and the one that we did with Ginyu is just when Ginyu fought Goku and they body change. We had that at mm -hmm. A. I think that's a valid place. Now for the Ginyu Force, I guess we can put it in the same place we put the fight with Ginyu. Because it was just Ginyu Force focus. Mm -hmm. Let's get that stat. Now, another mm -hmm. non canon one, Goku versus Pycon. So this was during the tournament. That was kind of valid. I think I do remember this, actually. I know it was non canon for the most part. I believe it was non canon I still don't know if Pycon's freaking canon or not. I don't think he is, but... Uh, I guess it was cool to see Goku f what Goku was doing when he was dead. But I don't think it was nothing yeah. crazy. Like, I'd probably caught this at a B. Because it just doesn't stand out enough. At all, and it was nothing crazy that happened. It don't. Was this like the false? I don't, I don't know what the hell happened. I'm sorry, but would you agree with like a B for this? I give it a B. The only memorable part about that was the Super Kai Oh, yeah. That's the yeah, only one I remember. I remember from that that. Or, Didn't he go like Super Saiyan with that? Or something like that, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So now, next, we have another non canon, the end of Z. So, GT Goku, I mean, that Goku versus O. I might pop this straight out of F. Because they did not know how to ask me. Wait, you said GT Goku versus who? I don't know if it's GT Goku. I think it's GT Goku. Is that GT Goku? Yeah, it was Oob. So when Oob was introduced, like, at, for the end of the you remember they had that one? Oh, yeah, put that in. This thing might be F. They didn't F, know what the hell it was. F, this is why it's super scary. Because they knew this was garbage, okay? <laughs> Flop. All right, now we have, ooh, is this Goku? Wait, let me, let me look. Oh, okay. This is, okay, this is a funny arc. This is when Trunks and, when Trunks fought Cell, so... From my perspective, this is when Vegeta went all buff, remember? And fought Cell, got cocky, that arc. And then Trunks had to fight Cell. And yeah. That's an arc? That's like a, it's like separated into piles of certain arcs. Let me look closer so I'm not tripping. Yeah, so this is Perfect Cell versus Trunks. That's what it's showing. So it's that whole section. So from what I get from that section, I think about when Vegeta got cocky. Showed a lot about Vegeta's character, still struggling to be a villain. It's arrogance for me. Just look at the ride, although Vegeta was stupid. Cool to see Perfect Cell mm. first come into play, you know, and finally find yeah, him first coming and breaking the button because he was being a simp. So I had a lot of, a lot of interesting moments in this arc. So I'm a, I'm a say. Absolutely, I'll be real with you. A... I'll be real with you. Only I, I watched, I watched both versions, but the one I liked the most is the Team Four Star one with <laughs> the bridge. That one is in my heart because that one was hilarious. Not to mention, to be honest, it had better writing. But I mean, so going off the original, yeah. I, 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 well, when I say better, right? I don't. Well, uh, going off the original, I would say this one's like a A tier, because I mean, yeah, because it's a, it's such a small part. Because I didn't think they'd be breaking it up that small, so I'm like, okay, just like, I don't it's know tricky, why they didn't bro. just it's do tricky. perfect sounds as a whole. A as well, too. I think it had some interesting moments, but it wasn't nothing crazy. Crazy. Now, now we got another crazy Dragon Ball arc for me. This gotta be Dragon Ball, right? Alright, yeah, Piccolo versus Goku in the tournament for the final work. That was that was dying a lot. That was that was iconic. Goku when he fought Piccolo. Piccolo versus Goku in the final yeah, 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 tournament. Yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. Piccolo Jr. for sure. Yeah, yeah. They had that crazy finish where Goku ended up eliminating him finally or beating him, bro. Goku was a little bit bigger and stuff. That was, that was, that was a solid S or Z. I, would you say it's as iconic as Goku going through Piccolo? Piccolo? Like with a Dragon Fist or whatever he did? Or? Uh, I was is as memorable i put uh, this at an s not that it's bad or nothing but i mean when rating these things you gotta think about like how iconic and how much of an impact right. they made to be honest like, to be so i say this like and that's true forgot about this fight yeah that's true i didn't realize that yeah like, I, I remember going back i, I kind of watched this i think recently or the last time i was watching dragon ball we watched fight, mm -hmm. fight. i, like, I, I kind of like these moments i like how evil piccolo was it was interesting it was cool but yeah it was probably solid s all right, next, mm -hmm. let me look closer, guys, so I can see which arc this is. What the hell is that? The Precious Planet. So what is this? What is this? Okay, this seems like some hero stupidness, so we're going to pop that straight at F. <laughs> we're going to pop that straight <laughs> at F. If I'm bugging out, I'm sorry. This is actually going to be tripping. Now, Raditz. Okay, Raditz. When Raditz showed up, hold up. We got a little introduction yeah. when Raditz showed up. Okay, we got introduced. We got to go out in a higher context. So when Raditz showed up, we got introduced to the Saiyans, okay, so that was a, that was a huge thing. So we got introduced to the Saiyans, uh, Goku's older brother, learned a lot about Goku. <laughs> Goku yeah. and Piccolo team, mm -hmm. Piccolo was on some goody goody stuff, but he low-key was from it. Uh, mm -hmm. Goku died, straight away. Okay. They 
I'm gonna give it an S as well. I think a lot of these yeah. stay at a solid S. Depending on the moment, I think it established a lot. But do you agree? Or like Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Hundred percent. Hundred percent agree. Copy. So next we have another drag mark. Who the hell is that? I don't know what this is, okay? I can't even read it, so I'm just put it at C like every other Dragon Ball arc. <laughs> I don't know, this might be C. This means, this means everything for their duel. Goku versus Vegeta, come on. That saga, that's what like, uh, Nappa, Goku Tien, versus Goku versus Vegeta, the first song. Kaga and Goku versus Vegeta. That's a, okay, that's a okay, easy okay, Z okay. for me. Bro. Oh, yeah, S T. I mean, not S T, but Z T is Z T. Everybody remembers <laughs> this, bro. Come on, everything, y'all. We know until when Nappa freaking when Chaosu sacrificed himself. Freaking uh, Gohan. Yeah, ain't nobody remember Chaozu like so, that, bro. Uh, uh, ain't nobody remember that nigga. Like the Loki on the last matcher. <laughs> also, <laughs> when was the last time you thought to yourself, damn, what happened to that nigga Chaozu? You never thought that. Don't lie to yourself. <laughs> Next question? I'm kidding. Now you damn right. Now, on to more mid. I hate GT. I don't hate GT, but I hate GT so much. We got okay, Goji Super Saiyan 4 versus Omega Shonjo. <laughs> yeah, bro. That shit was S tier, bro. Look, that mm. shit was entertaining. What it you was, mean? It was a lot of trolling. Cause like you know, it was the, the best arc in GT to me, to be fair. But yeah, what's, what's your reasoning, game? But it's like I mean, it was the first time we seen them do the matter more on fusion. I mean, it was like it, it was it was like at the time it was entertaining and everything. But again, it's not like the whole Shadow Dragons arc, so it's not like. You know, it's like a very small piece of it. So I'll put this at like an A tier. I, I'll give it A. I ain't gonna I'll lie. Agree. I didn't hate it. But actually, no, I, I think this is the Shadow Dragon arc. From the way it seems, I don't see like the Spirit Bomb thing. So Shadow Dragon arc as a whole, maybe an S. It's probably the best GT arc. Like an a yeah. S. Yeah, the Shadow Dragon yeah, arc is the best GT arc. Yeah, I, I could agree with that, yeah. Alright, now Super 17. Oh, God. I don't even remember the arc like that. Yeah, this thing was kind of trash. I have a lot. This one, 17 fuse. <laughs> I don't know what they were thinking. I don't know what that was, but okay. Like Hellfighter 17. F tier. <laughs> Forget that. Right. Next one, guys, I'm looking close. TN versus. Oh, yeah. So this is Dragon Ball again. TN versus Goku. So when TN. I think TN won. I don't remember. But that was. I mean, that was the tournament. And the tournament was guys. Yeah, so I'm going to put this at an S tier, bro. Probably a solid S tier as well, too. That's yeah. I saw the door on right for the first time. Okay. Okay. Valid. Valid. Alright, next, next, mm. we have, yes, I think this is the arc, down. is this the other tournament saga? Oh yeah, so this is when um, Master Roshi went into uh, Jackie Chan, I think, to humble Goku and Krillin to make them, this is part of why Goku is the way he is today, okay? I think Master Roshi wanted to beat them in that tournament, so if Goku, so that if Goku won, then in a way he probably wouldn't want to continue to be stronger, so mm. this is kind of the start of Goku continuously running across people that are stronger than him, or I guess you could say people like Beerus getting people like Monica or whatever and telling Goku that he's strong enough to keep Goku from, to to keep Goku trying to become stronger. I probably wear that very wrong. You guys are used to me by now, but basically I think this arc was important for Goku's character. I'll probably put it out a solid A. This is when Krillin and um Goku fall in the tournament as well and Master Roshi, like I said, and okay. Goku, I believe so. Yeah. Can you agree with that? You have an opinion on it, but like it's great. <clears throat> Yeah, I can. I can. I, I'll put it like an eight tier. Yeah. All right, now I we got five more arcs to go, y'all, and it'll be done. Next, ooh, so this one is just the uh, when uh, Mega Freezer, Mega Freezer, sorry. So Mega Freezer can call when King when Trunks pulled up, sliced them boys up. This was a saga. Yeah, this is called. It's like this looks like yeah. two, three episodes. I know. That's why it's funny, but like, <laughs> uh, I guess this counts like yeah, like. But sure, I mean, like, I these moments. When Goku talked, when Trunks told Goku that he was sick, they eat these things. I mean, I guess I feel like, I mean, this is so small. It's like, okay. Is it, is it good enough to get like a B like, tier, A tier? Yeah, so say, probably like a B or A. I guess it was cool to see another Super Saiyan. B or A, what, what would you say? You decide this one. Yeah. I mean, Chunks was called, so I see an A tier, I guess, uh, yeah, but I mean, it's just so yeah. small, still so short. short though, Trunks oh, speed was them both, like, that was just so out of Dragon Ball. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> that's probably a thing. All right, next one, let me look closer. Is this a Tournament of Power? What is this? I can't see. This is going to be no Stupid Heroes arc. This looks like a Made Heroes arc. This is a Heroes <laughs> arc. F, F, F. Y'all going to hate me in the comments. <laughs> Get this mid out of here. <laughs> F. All right, next. Okay. Yeah. Tournament of Power I'm getting from this, basically, right? This is a Tournament of Power. Yeah, Tournament of Power. MUR Goku Water. Ooh, this is an interesting one. Tournament okay. of Power. Where would I put the Tournament of Power at? 
me personally i'll put it as two i put z only because of how much it stands for i know there's a lot of writing issues in it reusing animations <laughs> a lot of things that could have been better but if we're going off of the transformations that was introduced anyway more universes the issue i, I can sit with s2 so let me know your the issue the issue with the term if there weren't if it weren't for these issues right here it would have been z number one the power scaling that is terrible. i'm not saying creators don't think about it but why the hell is kefla fighting a god goku and speed birds <laughs> that don't make sense she was a regular yeah, super saiyan know, like two days ago terrible. how yeah, like what true. like the thing is the manga does it better and so like you know going from the manga i put a z tier but mm. it's not the manga it's not the, it's manga, the anime it's so the i mean anime. I, now i'm so glad me off seeing even kale give go <laughs> even them fuse like bro they literally learn how to go super saiyan from a tingling feeling in their back what kind of disrespect to the iconic freaking goku they, that's what i'm saying time? bro no nah, i'll pop Tori power like what like a S. just because like i said i got a lot of ny and a lot of transformations are just moments from it jiren you know that carry yeah they were they were cold because i ain't cold. gonna lie you i broke, broke the into, internet literally it broke yeah, the yeah, internet yeah, exactly. broke the internet but the fact of the matter is it's like that's gas that's amazing Word, word. But what the hell is this writing though? <laughs> they. <laughs> I agree. All right, next right. two more. So now next one is yeah. the Universe Six versus Seven arc because I'm seeing Kai and Goku. I'm assuming. Oh, that one like, was kind of. That's, that's, that's like average. Yeah, that's like average, it's like a B, yeah. right? I mean, it had cool moments. Time yeah, speed, like introducing the hits time speed. It was probably one of the most unique characters Dragon Ball has ever made, just because of his abilities, the way he was an assassin. I like even his stance. He was so basic, not a necessarily like a strong key or not see look we're not gonna start at the best let's say strong key blast user but he's not necessarily like a key blast user <laughs> so i'm only doing this because he's going to the base on us which if i want to see us do some animated base y'all let me know in the comments below if you're still sticking with us here but uh for me personally like you said it was kind of average arc i'm mad they hold vegeta again so fast like vegeta as i always say let vegeta at least yeah. one thing about it he couldn't okay but cool fight kind of corny with the whole concept of him um bears trying to um joke around with Goku and Monaco, which are, or Monaco, whatever his name is. I said Monaco, I forgot his name. Monaco, whatever. Monaka. Monaka. I, I did say that was important for Goku's character, but it kind of made a little corny in this arc. It, it was a mid arc, okay? But I guess it introduces the things. I'd say a B. By the way, y'all let us know in the yeah. comments what are y'all agreeing with, feel me? So a B. And now the final one, okay? This is the tournament arc. So when Videl got minked, basically, okay? But yeah, Trunks and uh, Goten when they fought, decent amount of. Valid moments. So Vidal versus mm. Spokovich, stuff like that too. And these are arcs? This was like what? Not even uh, like twenty minutes, bro. Okay. Then in that case, I mean uh uh B B tier B tier, B -tier I guess. I mean it was you know short. It was this... short. Yeah, it's like you know what I realized with this trailer? This is like sections, you know. So I guess it gives us more to elaborate on which we were able to where is my mouse? I'm so blocking. Yeah. Where's my mouse? Where's my mouse? Where's my mouse? <laughs> okay, uh, okay, guys. No. So, so overall, what you gotta say about if we're going out on like just like if you had to put Dragon Ball as a whole, like like just to end this off, like on one of these tiers, what would you put it? Like involving Dragon Ball Z and Super? Is it a Z tier anime? S A B, blah blah. blah. Okay. Do you want to go first? Do you want to go first? I'm going. No, I mean, I'll, I'll go real quick. Copy. Uh. Sh Honestly, I'd put that like I'd say Z, I'd say Z too. Only because Perfect. like to be honest, I'm nobody because it was kind of like, <laughs> if we, we disrespect the, the king of anime beside the regardless of the garbage writing time to time, like, we can't we can't we can't do this, you know. But I just Because the thing about it is nobody <laughs> Nobody can tell themselves they don't know what Dragon Ball is. Everybody yes. does. Like you ask anybody on the street, they'll know what it is. Even if they're not an anime watcher, you even if they're not an anime watcher, you. don't know what I'm Dragon Ball is. Cause... Exactly. Exactly, bro. Like, so I'm just saying, like, yeah, I read a Z tier because number one, it's iconic as hell. And everybody, and anybody to think of anime will think of Dragon Ball first right. thing. Right. It's like, yeah, it's like, yeah, so Z tier. Off too, I fully agree with my boy Reigns, man. Dragon Ball is easily a Z tier anime. I know there's a lot of writing issues. You gotta remember, Dragon Ball came out in the 90s, okay? It's an old show. Writing was still being developed. And a lot of the creators we see now making the Jutsu Kaisen and all these animes have taken inspiration from other shonen animes and stuff, and they've gotten better with writing in certain aspects. But Dragon Ball still has the iconic moments, the great characters, the memorable characters. I can't name a Dragon Ball character I necessarily hate. And if I hate them, that means they probably made them good as a villain. You can say I'm glazing, but Z tier Dragon Ball is Dragon Ball is a Z tier. Yeah. So, yeah, y'all, this is the ultimate 
Dragon Ball Saga Taylor. Truly hope you guys enjoyed. I'm trying to do some. But it ain't content. better. But it, but it ain't. It ain't better than One Punch Man though. Do you, do you I'm, so, I'm sorry. I had, no, to, I, I, have... I had a moment of silence. For this, okay. <laughs> Like, you know, we, you know, it's crazy. We can leave that discussion for another video, okay? Shout out to my boy Frames, okay? That's my guy. He helped me with this tier list. Y'all, say, say hashtag Gold Frames down below if you made it this far. You probably didn't make it this far. This is probably a long video, but if you did, <laughs> hashtag Gold Frames in the comments. Catch y'all the next one. If y'all want more tier lists, y'all let me know in the comments. I really enjoy doing these already. This is my first one. I'm gonna catch y'all. Peace. Some may feel and say, ooh, do you hate me? You be back and forth and up and down with hesitation. Don't try to talk down on others now, get on the way. Pack your boogie board and boogie board, get out the way. I would then reply, oh, my reply is simply basic. This is so